Imagine it, Carl Nelson here from Imagination Station. What are we doing for Mother's Day? Well, we're gonna work with some flowers, but to work with them, I brought probably the coolest thing, pun intended, you have ever seen in your life. Really? Which is liquid nitrogen. Uh, probably is the coolest thing. <clears throat> this stuff is 320 degrees below zero. Wow. 320 degrees below zero. I mean, that's just insanely cold, right? And what is it doing, Dave? It's bubbling, it's like it's boiling. Because it is boiling. That's the cool thing about liquid nitrogen. Even though it's 320 degrees below zero, 320 below zero, it's always boiling. Wow. Right, this tea kettle is about 400 degrees hotter than the nitrogen. So if I throw some nitrogen in there, cap it. <laughs> How interesting. It sounds like it's boiling because yeah. it is. That's the neat thing about nitrogen, always boiling. And in fact, you can do something pretty cool with that, mm -hmm. which is if you take some of that nitrogen and stick it in a test tube like this, because it's boiling. Like fireworks. It's almost like fireworks, right? But what's cool about that is when nitrogen goes from a liquid to a gas, that's what boiling is, right? right? Nothing to do with temperature. It expands about 800 times in volume. Wow. So now <clears throat> we could wait for this to expand yeah. or I like to just dump it all in at once. The problem with that, Dave, is now it has way more nitrogen in there than it can hold. So at some point, <laughs> at some point, you may want to plug your ear. Get ready, get ready, wait for it. There we go. And it's smoked everywhere. And it smokes everywhere. And that's just water vapor in the air. Now, for Mother's Day, I thought it would be kind of cool. By the cool. way, Carl does birthday parties if you want to hire him. He's, he's a crazy, crazy, <laughs> great, great fun. But this stuff is really cool. I mean, lots of cool science here because it is so cold. Yeah. If we were to take a flower, okay. And go ahead and grab whatever flower you like there. Uh, Mom would like this one. All right, I'll grab one too. And here is your nitrogen. What I want you to do is just stick that right down into the nitrogen. Okay. Now, when it goes in, you see it starts to boil a yeah. lot more because that flower is 400 degrees hotter than the nitrogen. Sure. Now, the petals are also filled with water. What do you think is happening to the water as we freeze it? It freezes. Okay. okay. Yeah, so don't, don't make me look foolish. <laughs> this is my show, Carl. Don't okay, make me look right. double no, 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 no. show. No. Go ahead. <laughs> take, take your flower out. Okay. Now, what's really neat about it oh. is... Go ahead and touch the tips, the flowers, the petals. Grab it with your hand. Wow, it's just, wow. just you can, pure you can just crystalled ice. Because all the water has frozen inside there. In fact, I'll take mine out here. It's very cold, but it, cool. it breaks almost like it it's sounds glass. Like glass. It sounds like glass breaking. And all it is is the uh, water inside there has quickly frozen into ice. Wow. Now, uh, Kristen was asking some questions about nitrogen before we started. Yes, you should have heard her <laughs> during, during the commercial break. Kristen was doing her own interview. So. I think this is really cool. This is how to make a cloud. To make a cloud, you need three things. Particulate matter, you need warm, moist air, mm -hmm. and a change in temperature. Well, nothing is going to cause a change in temperature better than something that's 320 degrees below zero. So we're about right? to make a cumulus cloud right now. We're going to make a cloud right now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some nitrogen in there. Whoa! Give it a little shake. Wow. And as that nitrogen mixes, that cold nitrogen mixes with the moisture and the warm water here, you get a cloud. Wow. So tons of cool stuff you can do with liquid yeah. nitrogen. Um, we use it a lot for some of our demonstrations. So come down and check them out. But this weekend, we yeah, got something really cool going on, which is we have uh, some recycled bottle caps, and we are making a giant mural out of different colored bottle caps, kind of like the repurpose, reuse, recycle. We're right. not really recycling. I guess we're repurposing. Right. But come down and check it out. You can actually help actually assemble the mural itself. Oh, okay, I thought you meant by drinking and giving you bottle caps. No, we no, no. We, we don't want to encourage that. No, no we, well, we did that, actually. We had uh, school <laughs> groups and visitors donate over thousands of caps. Cool, and they're gonna put them on, nail them to something? They're and gonna screw them right to a board and we're gonna make a gigantic mural, like 12 foot by eight foot. Great, well, thank you so much, Carl. Cool. Happy Mother's Day, of course, to all the mothers out there and stop by the Imagination Station sometime this weekend. Should be fun.